In this video, I have cosine squared theta times tan squared theta minus 1 equals to tan squared theta. So what I do, I write cosecant squared theta times tan squared theta, and here I put this negative 1 to this side, which is tan squared theta plus 1. We know tan squared theta plus 1 is secant squared theta. So here I have cosecant squared theta times tan squared theta. Cosecant is 1 over sine squared theta. Tan is sine over cosine. These two cancel out, and the answer will be 1 over cosine squared theta. And as we know, 1 over cosine is the same as secant squared theta. So as we see here, that's proven. We can also use here as 1 over sine, that's the second method. We have sine squared theta divided by cosine squared theta minus 1. These two cancel out, I will have 1 over cosine squared minus 1, and I can write 1 over cosine squared minus cosine squared divided by cosine squared. Instead of 1, I can write cosine divided by cosine, and I am 1 minus cosine squared theta divided by cosine squared theta, and then I have sine squared, because 1 minus cosine squared is sine squared, divided by cosine squared, so I have tan squared theta. That's cool.